Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, thanks to Redefining Darkness and Jordan, I've been waiting to go over this, but my accident pushed me back from the pre-orders, and I didn't get a chance to grab one. But, again, like I said, thank you to Redefining Darkness and Jordan. We have today the return of the Kaiju Oxygen Destroyer with their sophomore full length. Sinister monstrosities spawned by the unfathomable ignorance of humankind. Hell yes. No sophomore slump here. Now, real quickly, I just wanted to show you the color of the LP, because Redefine Darkness doesn't play. And last time, with the debut, I got the Atomic Blue, because I love Godzilla and Gamera. But, uh, you know, for both movies, his breath is blue. Unless you're watching Shin Godzilla, then it's a little bit different. It starts off as like, a, it's pretty much, a, it, it doesn't count. I'm pretty sure there's no songs about Shin Godzilla on the new record, but I could be, I could be wrong. But there is a song about the claw, and that's awesome, because the claw even makes a little guest appearance on the cover. At first I thought it was Rodan, but it's not. But, look at this bad boy. It looks really sick in the light. Let me, real quick, try and get this over. It's really like, you know, these, like, Godzilla scales. Like, if you've ever seen Godzilla versus, like, Biollante, my, my, my nephew got me watching it again, like, when he was younger. But, uh, I, I remember they were looking for Godzilla cells and whatnot, but, uh, for some reason, that's what this reminds me of, like, even though it's, like, kind of, I would say, like, a kaiju scale, but, like, I like to think of it as a Godzilla cell variant, like, inside of these grooves, not only are tunes, but kaiju DNA, yeah, I'm over, you know, exaggerating, but this such an awesome 45 rpm ripper and if you're a fan of thrashing death metal like vader oh yeah can't go wrong with oxygen destroyer when it comes to the thrashing death now i'm still going to be doing this poster contest giveaway thing. I just have yet to figure everything out, but included in this monstrosity is this kaiju-sized poster. Look at this thing. It's massive. And it's set up like a movie poster. It's just super, super sick. And I love the drumming on this record. I love the riffs. Every track on here is just great. All eight tracks, fantastic. If you're a fan of ripping death metal, and what I mean by ripping death metal is thrashing death metal, like, for example, Skeletal Remains, Demolition Hammer. If you like those, Vader, especially Poland's Vader, that's like, you know, number one when it comes to influence here, I feel. But at the same time, they kind of take Vader, you know, legit. And this is a total, like, compliment. You might think I'm kissing ass. I'm not. I really would rather listen to OD than Vader. That's just me personally. Like, I feel like what Oxygen Destroyer have managed to release over the course of two records is equally as impressive as what Vader has been doing over the past, like, few decades. But, obviously, you know, these influences came from somewhere, and when it comes to Jordan and his love of 
the kaiju. And if you don't know what a kaiju is, it, for some reason, it is a Japanese giant monster. Any sort of giant monster is called a kaiju in Japan. Like, Godzilla is a kaiju monster. Like, you get it? It's kind of, you know. So, here, I'm 99% positive not every song's about Godzilla, just because track 7, as big as a battleship, I'm positive that quote is from The Claw. And if you don't know what The Claw is, Oh, man. You might even remember the claw from the angry video game nerd, but there's so much awesome stuff on here, like, and I love how, like, long some of the songs are, but, dude, Sons of the Necro Beast, yo, that's probably, like, my favorite track on here, and, uh, this one track's about Gorgo. Gorgo is the UK Godzilla. I think that's even... Nah, that's not him. Well, it, her, I should say, because it's a mother looking for... I don't want to spoil the plot, but this track right here definitely is about Gorgo. Enduring the maternal rage of the amphibious monstrosity, because Gorgo comes from the sea, and it's awesome. I mean, it's total, you know... If you're a fan of kaiju films, yeah, it's fun. You know? But if you're new to, you know, Godzilla and all that, it's all good. There's plenty, you know, to start from. But if I were you, like, I don't know who owns what anymore. But I do know on YouTube you can watch King Kong vs. Godzilla with English subtitles. And you, I think you have, like, three commercials. So... Yeah, screw watching the remake. Like, the remake, it, uh, to me, it's boof. It, it, but that's just me. I'm very picky about those types of films and, like, the, the monster verse. Like, come on, give me a break. It works for Marvel, but not every film needs a cinematic universe. I'm sorry. If that spoils anyone's fun, I hate that stuff. I hate the new Star Wars movies. Don't even get me started on the new Ghostbusters. But when it comes to the Kaiju, Shin Godzilla to me is one of my favorites of all time. Along with the original, The Return of Godzilla, Godzilla 1985 here in America, which is pretty much a glorified Dr. Pepper commercial starring Raymond Burr, who was in the original U.S. remake of Gojira, which was Godzilla in Japan back in 1954. Yeah, it's a, it's a mouthful, but when it comes to thrashing death metal, Oxygen Destroyer bring their A-game once more to the table here. Killer production, killer riffing. I love this promo photo because they got to travel to Japan to play that one festival over there and got to visit that famous Godzilla sculpture. But Paul Wright, Chris Craven, Lord Kaiju himself, and Joey Walker. Hell yeah. And this was mixed by Detto, mastered by the mighty Dan Lowndes. Artwork by Necro Garment. Band photo by Dan Oresco, sorry. And layout by Nestor Caria. And it's just awesome. I love the artwork. I really hope one day Oxygen Destroyer does a comic book to go along with their music because it would be awesome. And it would be very fitting. It wouldn't be like you know, some corny gimmick. It would be awesome. Because I would love for them to have their own, like, monster. And they might, they might have their own monster and their own monster-verse, but I don't really know. 
But for right now, Oxygen Destroyer and Thrashing Death Metal go hand in hand, and this is A plus top shelf death metal. It just happens to also thrash. And it thrashes hard. Thrashes. I say it with like an F, I'm sorry. Like, it thrashes so hard, all you pizza thrashers out there, I think it will flip your hat back to normal positioning. It's that good. So, check it out. Oxygen Destroyer and their sophomore record, Sinister Monstrosity spawned by the unfathomable ignorance of humankind. A plus. Again, if you're a fan of Vader, Demolition Hammer, the first Oxygen Destroyer, it's like that, but a little more gnarly in my opinion. If you like their split with VCR, like, yeah, this is just so good. Redefine Darkness Records and Head Split did the tape. This is the second press and As always, thanks for watching. Fucking rule. Hey,